Some days it feels like I'm constantly on the move, commuting to work, running to the shops, finding that underground performance art space my friend wants to meet at. I need all the help I can get. With the Google Maps SDK for iOS, you can help your users find their way. I'm Jen Harrington, and I'm going to show you how. Take this situation, for example, of a couple of friends trying to meet up before a show. Hey, I'm at the cafe near the venue. Want to come by? Where's that? On the corner by my old place. Huh? Um, it's near that giant tree uh, opposite the bank. Ah, see how frustrating that was? That's because describing location and place in the world is hard. But it doesn't have to be. Wouldn't it be great if he could have just shown me where he wants to meet instead of having to describe it with crazy landmarks or precise geographic coordinates? Instead, this is how it could have gone. Hey, I'm here. Come by. Oh, I think I know that place. Is it? Yep, I know that storefront. Cool, I'm on my way. What happened under the hood is that the app used the place picker, so my friend could very quickly specify the actual business where he was. Then it drew that place clearly on a map for me, so I knew where to go. I was then able to dive in and actually see the street view imagery of the place he shared. The Google Maps SDK for iOS expands the vocabulary available to your users when referencing places and locations. Looking at another example, I live in Sydney, but my family's all back in Canada. When my mom came to visit, she had only two days, and she wanted to see as much as she could. Thankfully, the Google Maps APIs came to the rescue, and we used a transit app to get her efficiently from place to place. All she had to do was specify where she wanted to go. The Opera House, the Harbor Bridge, Coogee Beach. Then she'd get a list of buses next available and walk in directions to the bus stops from her current location. And where could she best see this information? On a map, of course. This is a great example of connecting the API building blocks together. The Places API autocomplete feature to get the information on the destination, the Directions API to get the bus schedule and the walking paths to the bus stops, and the Maps API to actually show the routes. Note that the Directions API is actually a web service. It's being called by my server and proxy to the client. With all these great features, you're going to want to make sure your app reaches as many users as possible, and you can trust the Google Maps SDK for iOS to scale with your user base. Your millions of users are going to live around the world and speak many different languages. With Google's Places database covering more than 100 million places worldwide, and every API being tailored to suit the languages of your users, they will love you for going Google on iOS. So get started integrating Google Maps into your apps. Check out the documentation and install the Google Maps SDK CocoaPod. Once you start using the Google Maps SDK for iOS and see how nicely everything fits, you won't be able to imagine it any other way. <laughs>